Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today it's gonna be a little different. So, we actually built a outdoor go-kart racetrack for like these little 250cc go-karts. So we have to take this truck, haul them up to the track, so then we can take them around the track and I can show you guys what I built. Now I hope everyone's been having a great day. I know I have. Let me know how it was down below. And I'd like to say my brother just started a YouTube channel. So I'm going to be linking his YouTube channel down in the description below. If you guys could go show him some love, I would love that. So we're going to unfold the ramps and jump into the first go-kart here so I can show you guys the track. So here's the go-karts. They're by Lambo Mods and they're pretty cool. They go 43 miles an hour and they're pretty quick. So now if we go down this dirt road, we're actually be gonna we're gonna get sprint cars and I made a huge sprint car track. So we're gonna try one of these go-karts on the sprint car track. Now I still need to do some work to the sprint car track. But it's still pretty good. Okay, so we are gonna take this to the correct go-kart track. Now over there, that gravel is the go-kart track. So when you come in, where the semi is parked is going to be the parking lot. And then all the go-karts are going to be lined up right here. Each one's going to have their own little spot. And then once it's time to go, you're going to go. And you have to do this first corner. And then it just kind of weaves in and out. It's a pretty basic design. Now one thing is these go-karts do spin out pretty easy. So you have to be careful when taking your corners. And then you just go right down the straightaway. And then you hit this corner. And then you go past the finish line, and the first one to do it three times wins. And then there's also a bonus to whoever can get, whoever does the fastest lap. Now I've been thinking about maybe reaching out to other farming simulator YouTubers who would like to do this race with me. If there's any out there watching, let me know in the comments below. I will gladly race you and beat you. So then you would do one more lap there. But I think you all get the point. So what we're going to do is start unloading up from the truck and get them lined up at the start line. And once we get all six that we're going to have out there lined up, we're just going to put the rest over in a little storage shed. So we're only going to have one extra cart. So we have to try to get these turned off the trailer here. And I think what we're going to do is just give the little go-kart a little help and just drag the front forward a little. So this one's ready to come off.
grab the next one and we're just gonna do this for the next six go-karts. And then I think after this, we're going to buy one or two sprint cars so we can really test out the track and see how it is. Now these go-karts and the sprint cars I'm going to be getting were all made by Lambo Mods. I will link his Patreon page down in the description below. He makes some awesome mods, all sorts of cars, trucks, and even some cool tanks and stuff. He's honestly one of the best modders out there. If you're looking for farm sim mods, check him out. So we're going to get our fire flame go-kart lined up here to get off the trailer, pull it forward a little so we can also get the red one lined up. And I think the fire flame one, number 25, is the one that we're going to put down here into storage for an extra in case any break. Now these do drift pretty well. You can do some pretty good burnouts. And one more thing, and along with the sprint car, we are also going to be getting a skid steer well, a skid steer at a later time, but also along with the sprint car, we're going to be picking up a Bobcat E45 mini excavator. So we can easily take care of the track and just routine maintenance. So let's go ahead here. I'm going to buy the sprint car quick. So these are the sprint cars right here, and I think we're going to go with orange. Now these are super fast and hard to control, but they are pretty fun. And here's the Bobcat E45 mini excavator. Now one thing about this mini excavator in farm sim, it is it is wicked underscaled. In real life it would be about a ten thousand pound mini excavator, but in farm sim farm sim makes it look like maybe six thousand. It underscales it a lot. <laughs> Let's get it fired up here. So let's get the blade down and just get this boom out so we can rest it up here with on the bucket. Okay, that's good for transport. 
And next, we're going to get this sprint car up here. Now, this sprint car can do almost 200 miles an hour. So I have to be very careful putting it on the trailer and barely touch the gas. Okay. So let's fold up the ramps and get heading back to the track. Now this is a pretty nice semi and we will probably be keeping it around the go-kart track. So if we ever need to haul any go-karts or when we get more sprint cars. So I think the first thing we're going to do is go try the sprint car track with a sprint car. Now one thing about the sprint cars is they don't have any sounds, so when we're going around the track it's just going to be me talking. There's no sounds to the sprint cars. They're very hard to control. So it'll be like, um, yeah. So the sprint car portion of the track needs some fixing. But then essentially you'll just go around that banked corner or berm and then you'll go down the straightaway do this next corner and then keep going around in circles. So we're going to leave it here and go jump into the Bobcat so we can bring it to the center of the track and then that's going to be it for today's video. So we're just going to flip it around. This excavator is pretty hard to control in farm sim. So let's get this over to where we want it on the track. So we are going to be leaving it right here, so it's easily accessible when we have to fix something. So that's going to be it for today's video. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!